Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and today we're going to talk about Cadian. Now this opportunity forms uh, based on Platform X here and the idea is very simple. We can see that on the higher time frames, this kind of combination, we're still looking for buys, which is bullish. On the middle time frames group, which is daily H4 and H1, it went to neutral, which means the price started doing something there. Okay. It's not a simple pullback, it went to neutral already. On the lower time frame group, which is H4, H1, and uh, 15, which is kind of intraday already, we can see that this move down is suggesting that we're looking at the bearish trend already. So this is one way to catch the moves in the very beginning. And of course, we're going to confirm with some extra things here. But now let's head to the actual chart. And what we can see is we can also start from the uh, weekly chart. We can see that there is bearish divergence already. Yes, the trend is indeed bullish. Okay, but this massive push to the downside was somehow caught by the software and it suggests that we might be looking for another push to this trend line, let's say, or the swing, right? This is becoming intraday opportunity. So what do we do next? Well, I'm personally dropping down to the daily and four hour charts and I'm trying to figure out what's happening there. So as we can see, we got some false break divergence, breakout to the upside. And now the price came to this zone, right? And it failed to continue higher. And by failed, I mean, it started creating lower lows rather than creating some kind of consolidation or slow move, okay? Corrective move and then continuing up to continue upwards. So this is suggesting, all right, there is a very good chance that we're probably going to range. And if we're going to range, this is the top of the range, we're likely going to see another push down closer to this zone somewhere. So what do I do next? Well, I know that Platform X supports this view. So I go down to H4, trying to build up this entire case. I know that we had a breakout here. I know that we had a breakout here, depending on uh, which trend line you would be looking at. And that gives me this zone. You will also notice that there are pivots in here. Okay. This is fantastic. It starts to look pretty decent. So let me remove these two lines. I have already marked this zone. Looking at it from another perspective, which is the swing lows, I would group these two in the same zone because this is pretty much the same. And then I can group these two in the same zone because they are very close to each other as well. And guess what? We broke here, pullback, holding, continuation lower, broke here, pullback, holding. Okay. So in the very short time frames, the intraday time frames, we can see that this is indeed starting to reverse. It actually reversed already. And this is where Platform X comes in play, right? I'm doing all this extra analysis just to show you kind of the logic behind it and that we can still validate what the software is doing. Uh, but in general, the idea is to just check the software and go ahead and see, all right, this makes sense, right? Without going into too much detail manually, that's, that's the whole purpose of it. So now that we know what's happening, there is no divergence against. What we can do is start looking for interesting levels. Now, obviously, this is the strongest level right here. However, this level is very far away from these breakout zones. So is it realistic to expect this thing to go there? Not really. At least I'm not going to expect the price to get there. What I would expect, however, is for the price to go ahead and clear some of the lower zones. So what we can do here is we can mark, first of all, this block right here. We can mark this block. And then this one, which is already here, was tested. We can still mark it if we want in order to create an idea 
what the price is doing. So going down to the one hour chart, I would look for uh, corrective structures. A corrective structure, trending corrective structure is usually the ABC. And once we're talking about ABC, we know that we are looking at duplication. A duplication means first wave equals the second wave. So if we do that, and I'm going to remove the Fibonacci because I dropped there the lines, and I'm going to remove this one as well, just to make it as clear as possible. And I put a rectangle there, and now we can remove this as well. And go back to the four hour chart, look how this starts to form. Very interesting, at least in my opinion. So without watching any indicators, look where the price stopped right here. Look where the price stopped here and here. Breakout, pullback continuation. So this is the zone where we had the, the uh, rejection, right? And then you have it here again. Clearly, this is a level for some reason, okay? Now I have two zones to follow up on, this one and that one, okay? So that's the first level, but this is only wave number one, and this is where I'm including structures a bit. Technically speaking, we can go and create a consolidation of some sort, which later on breaks and continues lower, or we can create a bit of a deeper pullback forming ABC and going closer to these levels. Okay, we cannot pinpoint it by the, by the pip, of course, there could be spikes, there could be this, there could be that, but we have an idea where we would like to see the price stopping and bouncing and reversing. Once that happens and we have two very clear ideas. So one of the ideas is this is a level, the price holds and the price starts to consolidate here. We form a range, we continue lower. Once this is confirmed, we can be looking for sales from the top of the range, right? Or start building the, the position from top of the range. And if you're going to split your risk into multiple parts, you can start adding around these zones with a protection wherever you want to protect it. Okay, or alternatively, you can be looking for just one uh, entry, which could be based on this sell here, continuation lower, or you can be waiting for this breakout sell, sorry, and continuation lower. Overall, there are a lot of ways to handle it. What I'm trying to say here is that once you understand where the price is supposed to go, once you have a general understanding, general sentiment of where the price is supposed to go, the entries are not that important. Why? Because think about it. If the price is going to get, I don't know, down to here somewhere, does it really matter if you're going to attack with a pending here, or you're going to attack with a pending here, or you're going to attack with a pending here, or you're going to wait for a breakout of trend line and attack here? or this starts forming a range and you sell somewhere around the top. The only thing that matters is how you're going to protect it. And since you have the levels and we have seen where the strongest levels are, if you're attacking the level, it makes sense to protect conservatively because you still don't have a top to work with aggressively, right? What do I mean? If you go ahead and sell now market, well, not market, but once the price gets there, assuming that it will get there, you set a pending order here. You have no clue what's going to happen next. So you need to be protecting conservative, right? You need to, to do it like this. If on the other hand, we get a two wave structure, we get a breakout and you're attacking here. Now you have inner swing to work with. So in this case, you can go ahead and protect it here, okay? This is probably going to be a bit more aggressive still, but now you have a high to work with, as opposed to attacking a level where there is no actual high to work with. And in this specific case on the four hour chart, the swing high is only here. This is the inner level. So protection above this zone, definitely, if you're going to do it. Uh, conservatively, and you would like to protect some reasonable zone. So again, if you know the general direction, it doesn't really matter that much how exactly you're going to attack it. It matters where the stop will be in terms of protection in order to avoid possible spikes. 
But if the direction is clear and you get this right, chances are you're going to make money. Again, doesn't matter if you're going to sell here, 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 or here, right? Depending on the setup that you're going to use or the software that you're going to use to get you into the actual trade. Once you have the general market understanding where the price is going. All right, I hope this is as uh, detailed as possible, guys. If you have any questions, of course, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to reply. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.